Culture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. <laughs> this is a good one. LeVar Ball. All right, man. So, LeVar Ball. I'm not really into sports like that. I'm to, I am into things that people say because I think it's interesting. Uh, before I get into what he said, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Uh, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. You know, that little bell. And hit the thumbs up. If you don't want to be notified, then don't hit anything, you know. And hit the thumbs down if you don't like the video. You know what it is. Just keep it real. If you want to uh, subscribe or if you want to uh, leave a donation, Cash App is in the description. All right. Ball, ball. <laughs> From my understanding, he is a controversial figure, but I'm going to go on record and say, I don't know too much about basketball. Not no more. I used to. I used to know a lot about basketball back when Jordan was playing. Um, I kind of retired from basketball, but this really has nothing to do with basketball. This is more of, well, it has something to do with basketball, but the whole argument is, isn't about the basketball game. This is about teaching your son certain things. And he is one of those people that he says things that I think people take as controversial, but sometimes what you would consider controversial to me is actually a person just being real or just giving their opinion. And, and yes, your, your opinion can be controversial, but it's still your opinion. That's yours. So LeVar Ball said, matter of fact, I'm just going to play the video of what he said, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my take. You need a nice woman, especially in, in basketball. You're not going to find nobody like I found your mom or, or my mom and dad. Because here's the thing. If you're in this profession, which you got all this fame and notoriety, how are you going to meet a good girl? You're not, because what you're going to meet are in the restaurant where you eat, or you're going to go to a club where you dance, or you're going to meet her at the arena. So I hate to tell you, you're going to meet a All right. LeVar Ball. <laughs> Woo! Get that man a round of applause. Hey, listen. You can't hate the player. You got to hate the game. No pun intended. So, when LeBron Ball, what a, what LeBron, um, with Le, uh, LeVar Ball has said there is that his sons are young and he feels sorry for them because they're not going to meet no good women. They're going to meet nothing but hoes in that profession. Now, let's be clear here. Not every woman is a hoe, right? But a good percentage of NBA players come across women who are very promiscuous and who just want their money. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real. Don't try to change up now because he said it. Now, he said that you're going to come across hoes. You're going to find a hoe. The whole term groupie is hoes. We know this. We know this. We know there are women who literally plot on NBA players, football players, basketball, you know, any sports athlete. They plot on them to get their money. Even women who know that a man is married, they still plot on him. I don't have to say his name, but you know. So is this statement controversial or is it just real? This is a real statement. And I don't see why women, and in particular, women get so upset when the father wants to protect his sons. It's no different from when women tell their daughters to watch out for men 
who do them dirty. So why is it so horrible for this man to say he ain't going to, they're not going to, in this profession. Now he didn't say they wasn't never going to meet a good girl. He said, in this profession, you're not going to meet a good girl. You're going to meet nothing but hoes because this is what it is. This is what it is. This is what, this is what you, you surround yourself with. You go to clubs, you go to the arena, you go, you're only going to meet girls who are just looking to get something out of you. You ain't going to meet no girl that's genuinely want to be with you before you. No, it's not going to happen. So why do, why do people get so upset? Maybe because he used the term hoe. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what it was. It could be because he used the term hoe. But see, my thing is, women use the term no good. Women use the term dog all the time. Oh, he ain't no good. He a dog. He ain't no good. He ain't shit. Y'all use them terms all the time. But us as men, we supposed to accept it. Now, I'm not saying that you should go around calling women hoes. But I am saying you are what you are. So if you are a hoe and you doing your thing, I'm not mad at you. I love hoes. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like, they nice. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Would I wife a hoe up? No. I would not. I'll chill with one. I'll be get some, get some, because that's what they want to do anyway. But why is it so, why do people get so upset when a father of his, of, of these children, of his children, or, or a father trying to protect his kids? Why do y'all get so mad? Why do women get so upset when a father wants to protect his kids from other people? Uh, predatory women who who want to take over his life and destroy his life. Why? Why do y'all get so mad? Y'all do the same thing with y'all daughters. This is nuts to me. And it just makes me, it just, it just so, it's so irritating because nobody wants to just be real. Y'all teach y'all daughters about these men out here. So why can't a father teach his, his sons about these women out here? I applaud him. That's right. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Keep going. Because ain't no way in the world you're going to sit here and tell me that me as a father, I can't tell my sons about the real. That's the real. Whether you like the choice of words or not, it's the real. You got to respect it. You got to respect that man for keeping it real for his sons. Be careful. I think he got three sons in the NBA. I'm not sure. I think he do. Three or two. Either way, he still got sons in the NBA. And he's their advocate. He's their champion. He's their cheerleader, so to speak. And I'm proud of that man. And that man should be the advocate or the, the guy that stands up for his sons. All y'all out here saying that fathers, there's deadbeat dads and fathers don't do nothing for their sons and their kids. And why does fathers don't raise their sons? Da, 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 da. Look now. Now y'all have a problem with it. Who do y'all want? Y'all want this man to raise his sons right? Or y'all want this man to just uh, let them let him go out there and be used by these women? Y'all know them women are hawks. Y'all know them women what they want and what they're about. Y'all women know what these women are about. Y'all protect your husbands from them. Now all of a sudden it's a problem now. Y'all want men to be men and y'all want men to raise their sons. Y'all don't complain about how we raising our sons and what we say. It is what it is. Cause we don't get on here and, and complain about how y'all raise your daughters and how y'all make your daughters out to think that every man is a monster and how every man is basically in control of everything. And then y'all are under this uh, tyranny where y'all can't do anything. And we're just over top the overlords. That's how y'all make it out to be. Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I love it. I love it. I'm, I love it. I love that the man could, that man could say something, whether y'all think it's controversial or not that protects his sons. That's how it should be.
It should always be that way. Torture talk.